Hot Topic of the Day sponsored by Burger King. Kobe Bryant isn't holding back on his feelings about Shaq's work ethic. It's no secret that Kobe and Shaq's relationship with the Lakers broke down after three titles and that ultimately led to Shaq being traded away. Yesterday, Kobe was asked what would have happened if Shaq had Kobe's work ethic. Take a look. <clears throat> Who would Shaq be if he had your work ethic? He'd be the greatest of all time. If Shaq had your work, he'd be the greatest of all greatest time. Greatest of all time by far. Sure, he, uh, he'd be the first to tell you that, for sure. I mean, this guy was a, a force like I have never seen. Generally, guys at that size are a little timid and they don't want to be tall. They don't want to be big. Man, this dude was, he did not care. He was mean, he was nasty, he was competitive, he was vindictive. I mean, he was, yeah, I wish he was in the gym. I would have had 12 rings. Well, Shannon, mm. do you agree with Kobe? I do. I do believe this, Skip. I don't know if the greatest, but he'd definitely been in the conversation. Not because when we talk about Shaq, what do we say? He's the most dominant, most, unstop most unstoppable player that we'd ever seen. Because, Skip, he had that stretch there that you couldn't do anything with it. They dump it down to him on the block. You was either hack a shack. They came up with a thing, hack a shack. You was either getting dunked on or you was had to file it. Mm -hmm. Skip his first 11 years he, because he played, he played eight years. Let's go his first 11. His four in Orlando and his first seven in uh, L.A. He was 27, 12, and two and a half, mm -hmm. 2.6. That's blocks. Mm -hmm. Skip, we had never seen and we may never see another NBA player that's seven foot one. And in Shaq's prime, he's probably 300, 300, 310 to 320. And that's where he should have been able to try to keep his weight. But he didn't train. He didn't take eating serious. He didn't take working out serious. And 310 became 315, 325, 330, 340. There might have been some time that Shaq played at 350. When I skip, when you're over seven foot tall, that's always, there's already a lot of wear and tear on your body, jumping up and down 82 games a season mm -hmm. at 300. Imagine what it's like doing that at 330, 340, 350. Mm -hmm. And it robbed him of some years. It, did. it robbed him of some athleticism. Yep. But Skip, in the process of Shaq working out, eating like he should have, being considered one of the greatest, that would have came at a huge expense to Kobe Bryant. Because I believe if they went, I don't know, they'd have won 12, but I believe they could they only won three together. I believe they could have got to probably six. But at what expense, Kobe? Because I believe if Shaq's the greatest. You get five or six titles, six or seven titles with Shaq. He's going to be the finals MVP. Mm -hmm. That drove Kobe crazy. That's why he wanted Shaq out of there. He couldn't be Kobe. He could not be the Kobe yep. that we know today yep. if Shaq had did what he wanted Shaq to do. That's true. So, Kobe, the question I ask you, mm -hmm. are you okay with that? You winning six or seven titles with Shaq. Shaq winning six or seven finals MVP. I don't believe you would have because we would have never saw that side of Kobe. There is no five, six, seven, 60-point games if Shaq's there. Mm. There is no 81-point game if Shaq's there. Mm. There is, I don't believe there's a scoring title because if he's what, he, uh, if Shaq is what Kobe believes he can be, yep. you got to go through him. Mm. Well, Kobe got tired of going through him. See, Skip, in the Avengers movie, it's the greatest movie of all time. But you got Captain America. He had his own spinoff, didn't he? Mm. The Hulk had his own spinoff. So did Black Widow. Mm. See, Robin never got his own show. Mm. <laughs> he always got to be with Batman. And he got tired of being that. He's like, I'm a he superhero. I'm a comic book hero. Mm -hmm. I need my own series. Mm -hmm. So it comes at a price, Kobe. Mm -hmm. Do you really? Do you, I believe he wanted Shaq to work harder, mm -hmm. and I believe that caused a lot of friction. Also, Skip, to get 12 titles, you got to like each other, too. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how you stay together that long if you don't like each other. That is correct. And I correct. think they had some problems that started to cause some friction there also. But I do believe Shaq, if Shaq had took this thing serious with conditioning eating, Skip, you're not going very far. You're not getting out of the top three or four without saying Shaq's not the greatest. Mm. So for once... I completely and utterly agree with everything you just said about 12 titles. No, 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 no. sorry. 
it's it, you've used Beatles analogies yeah. on this show before, but but the greatest harmonies I ever heard were John Lennon and Paul McCartney. They made the most beautiful musical harmony I'd ever heard. And finally, John Lennon, maybe thanks to Yoko. Oh, Yoko, yo, 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 nope, that nope, said, "Nope, I'm out." Uh, get it? And that was it. And Kobe was saying, "I, I, I just can't take this anymore <laughs> because." It, the town wasn't big enough. Even this town wasn't big enough no. for the both of them. Mm -mm. And finally, Kobe, who was a little closer to Dr. Buss, said, mm -hmm. I just can't do this with him anymore. Now, again, he was not in shape. Right. And I give you that. But let's go to the GOAT. Okay. I do think there's validity to yes. what Kobe said about GOAT-ish. <laughs> I, I think if he, and again, this is a huge, literally huge hypothetical. Right. Because the more Shaq won, the more he ate, the bigger he got. Right which was hard and, to watch. And the less he trained. And the less he trained. But if he could have been in shape and kept in shape after those three dominant years when they won their three titles, Excuse Lord me. have mercy on the NBA. I, I don't know. Again, I'm always going to side with Michael Jordan just right. on leadership intangibles okay. and late game clutch shooting because Shaq never could shoot the free throws. Right. And so he became a little bit of a liability down the stretch because they invented hack a shack. <laughs> and it would have become more and more prevalent as the years went right. on. So at some point, you might even have to take him out of the game in the fourth quarter right. to get through the game. Right. But the point is, I said this on the old show repeatedly, and people would lose their minds when I would say, Shaq was greater than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But I'm just saying, I agree with, I, I said this 10 years ago that he'd never seen a force that uh, unlike any I'd ever seen. Yeah. Well, that's what I saw, because I covered the the conference, these would be the Western Conference Finals in 2000 against my Spurs, and guess who it was? It was Tim Duncan and David Robinson. Because you have two seven-footers against one seven-one, and it was no contest. They couldn't do anything with He you. just ragdolled both of them. He just flung them out of the way and dunked it. And that year, he won the MVP. That was his only MVP year. And he averaged 30 and led the league in scoring. And he averaged 14 rebounds and four assists. A big man averaging four assists is, is extraordinary to me. Well, that's domination. Yes. It was not pretty to watch. No. It was football, basketball. Because he clear, he's doing this yeah. and dunking. And, and it was <laughs> impossible to referee. Yeah. What's an offensive foul? What's right. a defensive foul? Right. I don't know. He's right. just too big for them. But Skip, you, we've never seen a guy that was seven foot one, over 300 pounds, that could put the ball on the floor. Shaq could take the ball off one end and bring the ball all the way down the court, dunk on you, or p pass the ball and have somebody feel the lane and lay it up. The All Star game yeah. that year, I covered that game, yeah. and, and Shaq was yeah. reeling and dealing up the yeah. floor and dishing to Kobe. Yeah. And, and Shaq, Shaq will tell you. Uh, Shaq, and the thing people don't realize, Shaq is strong. Shaq was strong. No, Shaq, when you, when you look at, when you get up on basketball players, they, they look big on television, but Skip, they thin. Oh, no, I got it. You get up on Shaq, and Shaq can bench over 400 pounds when a, he was in the NBA. He's a huge He's, a, he's the oh. biggest man I've ever seen okay. with my own eyes. All right. Huh. Skip, the, and, and that's what you hate, Skip. You, the thing that, that makes LeBron who he is, Skip, not only is he supremely talented, but look how he takes care of himself. I agree. I buy that. You're right. Michael worked out, mm -hmm. but do we know, could, could Michael have been if he only did one cigar a day, Skip, instead of three? Maybe. Instead of one. one I, I never loved it. I got to tell you, I what, never loved it. How about one, how about one, one glass of hen instead of three? Uh, whatever. But the you cigars never know, bothered right? me. You'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah. Yeah. But, he, but, Mike, but Mike didn't spare anything in the, in the weight room. He, he was conditioned. Mm. Shaq, man. Thanks, Shaq but by the way, to the great Tim Grover. They had the bref breakfast club yes. with Scottie Pippen and Ron Harper. They got up early and they worked huh. hard. And that's what, Skip, that, you hate that because you're like, what if? And Shaq had an unbelievable career. Yep. I think he's still top 10 in scoring, won three titles. But, Skip, you know, when you got two, those two guys, yep. you should have more than three titles. You should. It, it, there's a lot of ego clashing. Yeah. But, that, but that's the thing. That's, Skip. That was the thing that made Michael, Kobe, I mean, not Kobe, but Pip understood, I'm robbing. I'm not going to get a spinoff. He did. That is I'm true. not going to get a spinoff. You're right. Kobe wanted a spinoff. He did. Kobe says, I understand and, that we're... And he got it. He, he flaunted it. He won his two titles. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, I mean, look, okay. you got Iron Man. <laughs> you got Captain America. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got Black Widow. You mm -hmm. got I mean, You got all these spinoffs mm -hmm. going on. Yep. But... Kobe wanted to be a standalone, Skip. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't know if he could have been a standalone. I don't know if Kobe is the Kobe that we know currently. Yep. If if he had done, if uh, Shaq mm -hmm. had done what Kobe wanted him to do. Yep. I don't know if we get that Kobe. And Kobe now has that benefit of the the wisdom of age, you know, where he can sort of sit yeah. back and reflect yeah. on it and say, look what we could have done. But no, the reality was it was starting to look finite already. Right. And then the other reality was, just as, remember, once Kobe hit 2014, right. then 15 and 16, as hard as he worked, yeah. his body just right. broke down. Broken down. Broke okay? Down. So you can't stop that. Right. That, that just was, right. unless Tom Brady has discovered the ultimate right. liability. I don't know if it would have worked for Kobe. Well, plus the thing is, Skip, is that Tom Brady's really never lied on athleticism. Nope. True. S so. True. So him slowing okay. down, it's not like we're asking him to be a wide receiver. We're not needing him to be Julio or A.B. No, where he requires no, I, quick I agree. Time. But w if Shaq had stayed in shape as he hit a aging years, yes. as he got to the backside of yes. his career, would he have broken down? I don't know. He might have. It's hard to know. I just believe that. I don't believe they get to 12. Maybe. I don't believe anybody's getting mm -hmm. to 12. The, those Russell Celtic years, that... The 50s and early, excuse me, the 60s, that's not happening again. We're not going to see that. Yep. But I do believe they would have won, they should have, they would have won more than three mm -hmm. had Shaq showed up every year, training camp, ready to go. Yep. And not play his way, try to practice his way into shape. Yep. Be ready. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. But you, Skip, you, we age, we see things differently. You're like, right? man. Yeah, I agree. Perspective, You know what? Right? I, I must say, though, because I was a big Shaq fan. Mm -hmm. It hurt my eyes and then it hurt my soul to watch him in his fading years. Because even after he got traded to Miami, he did make three straight all-star teams, right. but it started to he look... He should have won the MVP over well, Steve you, Nash you, that year. You could have said, yeah, you could. But then, yeah. Skip, he's not supposed to do that. Nope. He's not supposed to go to Phoenix no, and no, Cleveland no. and Boston. That, that was hard for me to no. watch. And a lot of it had to do with he had no use for trying to stay in shape. Interesting. Yeah, but once you get... Skip, once you get that, once you get that age, yep. you get that size... No. Mm -mm. <laughs> you got to start that early. Yep. That's what I tell guys when you retire. If you're a big guy, whatever, you better start. Guys keep the same eating habits, but not the same workout habits. And they went, well, how you do it? Yeah. Well, I eat less and I work out, still work out. You cannot. Guess what? For the first time in your life, nobody's going to make you work out. No. How no, weird is that? You. Was that hard for you at first? No, because that's what, that's what the Broncos paid me for. I played the game for free. Y'all play me to lift all the mm. heavy ass weight mm. and run myself into the ground. That's what you was paying for. I play it for free. Mm. They know it though. They didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> okay. It. I think they wouldn't agree. <laughs> I know it's not hard for you to work on either, Skip. Me, uh, I'm still working. Uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, okay. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stay talking about some teammate uh, chemistry. Are Zeke's teammates starting to lose patience yep. with his holdout? Antonio Camardi is with us again. He'll share his thoughts next.